Hey everyone, it's me, Brother Waddingham. So over the last few months, people on occasion have come up to me when I'm wearing one of my bow ties and they ask, Brother Waddingham, you look so stylish wearing that bow tie. Did you tie that yourself or is that a clip-on? So then after I tell them to stop kissing up, I tell them that yes, this is one that I tied myself. Um, so uh, on occasion, people have wanted to know how do you tie a bow tie and I am going to show you that here in this video. Uh, just uh, for your information before we start, this is what a bow tie looks like. It's uh, got that kind of fish tail kind of shape on each end. Um, a lot of ties these days come with an adjustable kind of strap. You can see there. Um, this one was made by Izod, but the strap adjusts for each different collar size. So uh, you're able to, you know, make it a smaller necktie for a smaller neck or a larger tie for a larger neck. And just to give you a little background on the bow tie, at least from what I've read on Wikipedia, for as true as that is, the bow ties were actually worn by Croatian mercenaries uh, a couple of centuries ago and used the bow tie to kind of tie their shirt together in the front so that it wouldn't fall open. Um, the French uh, kind of took it on as a fashion symbol um, under the name cravat, uh, which was a French word meaning uh, a Croatian person, a croat. Um, so ultimately that evolved into the modern bow tie that we have today. So with that little bit of background, here's how you tie a bow tie. Okay, so the first step, um, you need to have your top button done up. Um, I'm using a shirt that has a collar that goes all the way around. You can kind of see that. Uh, that's the standard shirt today. The more formal shirts, you know, for like a tuxedo might only have a small little wing here on the top that doesn't go all the way around. It's cases like those where you don't want an adjustable necktie, or excuse me, an adjustable bow tie. You want a fixed length bow tie so that it doesn't show the strap on the back of your collar. Um, so anyway, um, I've seen in a lot of places that people uh, generally tie the bow tie um, with the collar down. Um, I am just in such a fixed habit with my other neckties of tying it with the collar up that I'm going to do it that way. So that's how you're going to learn. Um, so let's see, so we're going to start, um, I have generally put the side that has all of this stuff um, against my neck. So as opposed to being outward facing. Um, so you're going to kind of get the the ends of the tie about like so. Oh, actually, you know what, I got that backward. Get them about like that. Um, and then you're going to cross them and you're going to take the longer end and dip it underneath and pull it up through the back and that will kind of create a knot. So that knot, this is going to be your one chance to get the tie as tight as you want it. So make sure that that knot is to where the is to the tightness that you desire. And then you can take that long end, kind of toss it over your shoulder for a second. So then we're going to take this end and we're going to fold it right here like that. This is going to end up being the front of the tie. Um, so you're going to hold that in place. Then you're going to reach back and pull the long end over the top. And this is going to be what kind of tightens the whole thing and holds it all together in the middle. So here's where it's going to get maybe just a little bit tricky looking. So I'm going to turn to the side a little bit. Um, if you grab the two ends of that front part, you can see that there is a hole back here. I can kind of poke my thumb through it. You see that there. So with that hole, you're actually going to come back now. Um, I'll get us back to that part real quick. And what we're going to do with that is we're going to take <laughs> Try that again. Shoot. So we're going to take the long end, bring it down over the top, and then where we found that hole in the back, we're going to take that long end and bring it back here and tuck it through that hole. But we're going to tuck like this part through. We're not going to tuck the end through this part. So we're going to tuck that part through the hole, which can be a bit of a task sometimes, or at least it is for me. 
And then once you've got that through, so here's what it looks like on the other side as that part's coming through. Then you've got your general shape of the necktie right there. Um, so from this part, anything that you pull on is either going to make it come apart or it's going to tighten the knot in the middle. Um, if you pull on an end, it will make it come apart. So you can see how that slides in the knot. If you grab on this end, where it's kind of folded over, then you can actually tighten the knot. Now on the back side, you can also tighten. Again, you don't want to use the one that's an end, you want to use the part that's folded on the back. And so if you kind of tuck your finger down into there, you can pull to tighten the tie and get the knot where you want it. Um, at that point, um, it's all a matter of just kind of straightening out the tie to how you want it. This is where I kind of pull my collar down. Uh, make it all nice and neat. Um, at this point, um, you just want to make sure that um, it, it looks how you want it. I don't have a mirror here, so I can't quite tell how it's coming out. But, uh, you know, you generally try to make the ends line up about right. Make sure that the knot in the middle looks decently tight and, and sharp. And, uh, and then you're good to go. And in general, one of the things that I've always been told is, you know, don't tie it dead perfect, let it have a little bit of a flaw in it, and that way people will know you actually tied it yourself and that it's not a clip-on. So there you have it, tying a bow tie. Hope that that uh, answers all of your questions and that, you know, at some point maybe you too will wear a bow tie. Stay classy.